We all are connected. That's what really the blues is, it's a feeling. I can tell something good. We've had a rich history of blues here, rich history of jazz as well. It was a regular stop for a lot of great artists that came through here, and if I go back in time just for one night, just to experience the culture that this town actually possesses, it just, it was a happening. I can't help myself. Pensacola used to be part of the Chitlin circuit. A lot of big names. James Brown, Rita Franklin. The Chitlin Circuit was a defined territory where most of all of the blues artists traveled. It was a known, secure route for a lot of performers to go to get entertainment, to have a place to live and enjoy life. Mm -hmm. Pensacola was a unique location, had probably one of the best features as being a Chitlin arena. You had the beaches here, they had military bases here which attracted military personnel. So you had an inherent built-in audience here where, you know, they would guarantee you a large crowd. An artist came into town, he brought his music with him. He can drop them off at this record club and sell them here. It was the only black record shop in the city of Pensacola at that time. You could see almost anything on these corners. They used to call us the blocks. Keeping live entertainment alive in the Belmont the Villas area, coming here listening to the bands is a big thing. This area is like the last heartbeat. You still want to have a soul, and that's where the music and blues come in at. It's music that everybody can enjoy. More and more people are becoming aware of our blues scene. When I started playing the blues, one of the first people I met was Vivian Lamont. She started the Belmont Youth Group. I'm up here with some of my students, and the young lady right there, Isabel, with the guitar. She just graduated from the University of West Florida. I wanted to gather up kids in the neighborhood to give them something constructive to do to keep the music and the blues going here in this area. People are trying to make sure this is not forgotten. Now I understand the gravity of what went on back in those days. It's a part of history. We have people coming in here from Mobile and Mississippi and everywhere. When we're performing, it's jam-packed, and that makes me feel good because I'm being myself. 